Exciting news, boxing fans. The 5v5, Eddie Hearn versus Frank Warren, Queensby versus Matchroom has been announced. I'll put the full card on the screen, but on this video, I will be focusing on Deontay Wilder versus Zile Zhang. A very exciting fight, and I think it's nice to see that Saudi aren't just doing fights for the sake of it, you know? Obviously, there was a rematch clause for Parker versus Zhang. Did anyone want to see that fight? Don't think anyone really wanted to see it again. Maybe the boxing purists, but, you know, we'd seen it once. We saw, you know, Zhang has power, didn't have the stamina to, you know, keep up with Parker for the full 12 rounds. Parker had good heart and good resilience to get up, get up off the canvas and win, to, you know, outbox him. So, you know, we, we learned a lot from that first fight. You know, I don't think there's a huge appetite for a second one. So, the Saudis have been very clever and listened to the fans, listened to the audience, and parked the rematch and gone... We'll put Zile Zhang in there with Deontay Wilder. And I think it's a very interesting fight, right? Two huge hitters, you know. Obviously, Zhang lost to Parker, but before that, he was coming off two huge KO wins to Joe Joyce, you know, ruined the guy's career. Really devastating, huge KOs. Well, actually, the second one was, I don't know. I can't remember the first one as much, but I think it was a KO. Um, I think his eye was hurt, wasn't it? Um, I'll put it in the edit if I'm, if I'm wrong. People say that Zhang hits harder than Wilder. I don't know if that's true personally, but Zhang's heavier. He's got more weight to him, hasn't he? So he just hits with more force. But I think it's a very, I think it's a very intriguing fight. Does Wilder have the dog back in him? Has he got that nastiness back into him? I did a previous video where I explained that he'd been doing ayahuasca, which is like, um, it's like a ceremony that brings you peace and it brings you the emotion that you feel just before you die. So it's supposed to bring you gratitude, kind of, wellness and i remember after the loss to parker you know wilder was like oh it's okay you know I'll, i'm gonna go and spend some time with my family you know he hadn't had that he lost the dark side to him that you need as a fighter you know that nastiness that anger that i'm gonna fucking punch your head in he lost it apparently he's got it back which is what his team is saying but you know we're not gonna know that until he steps back in the ring so i think it's a very intriguing fight zhang's a lot bigger but wilder has got a huge He's got a huge left hand. Who's going to come out on top? I mean, surely the fight doesn't go the distance, does it? Like, you know, two guys. Wilder, you know, not known for his, you know, his footwork, his movement, his short selection. He's just known for, you know, I've got a big left hand. I'm going to hit it with you before the end of the 12 rounds and you're going to go down and stay down. I guess similar to Zhang, really, that's why he won the Joyce fights. You know, he said, you're not going to get right through 12 rounds with me and me not hit you with this hook so i guess two guys with similar styles in what i think will be a very exciting fight for you know boxing casuals maybe people who don't want to see you know jabbing moving shot selection but just want to see you know two big guys slugging it out probably going to end in a knockout personally um for my prediction i think i'd have to say zile zhang win wins you know i think after that parker loss i don't see you know wilder having the heart he once said you know he doesn't have the boxing skills Zile Zhang is a massive guy and can hit as hard and can hit very hard as well. So I think I'd favour Zhang because he's had he's had more fighting experience, you know. He's been in there with Joyce twice, he's been in there with Parker, whereas Wilder's been very inactive. He only had you know he's had the fight with Parker, but before that he only had one round in two years. Yeah, so I think I would favour Zhang. I think he'll be bigger. I think he's he's got better boxing skills. He can box. He basically says, you know, trade with me, I will hit harder. And Wilder seems to have lost it. Is it the ayahuasca? Was it the lack of time in the ring? You know, peace. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to fight anymore. You know, he got into fighting because he wanted to provide for his daughter who was ill. He's done that. Should he retire? <sighs> Probably. But look, maybe he has got that fire back in him. Maybe he does want to re redeem himself from the Parker loss. Maybe he'll do an Anthony Joshua a rebuild. I'm not sure if it's the right decision personally. I think maybe he should just retire. But he can prove me wrong. I'd like to see him prove me wrong. And, you know, Zhang, Zhang can fight, you know. He proved he can fight against Joyce. Joyce was a very good fighter. People were, you know, thinking he was an up-and-coming prospect just before the Zhang losses, you know. He knocked out Parker. He beat in Dubois. Two, you know, very big names in the heavyweight division. So I think it's going to be a very interesting fight. As I said, I think I favour Zhang. I think Wilder is past it. I don't think he has this, I think Zhang's a better boxer and can probably hit as hard. But if Wilder can hit him the way he hit Tyson Fury, you know, this amount that Zhang's big... Wilder's proven he can get big guys down. He hit Tyson Fury. And anyone who isn't Tyson Fury probably doesn't get up from that. So, yeah, I think it's a very interesting, exciting fight. Let me know your predictions in the comments down below. I'll try and cover the rest of the 
5v5 card at some point, but I thought I just covered the Wilder and Zhang fight because it's probably the most exciting and probably the one where there's going to be chaos and a, and a bit a wider interest from non you know boxing hardcore fans. So yeah, let me know your prediction in the comments. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.